Uh, hi, Facebook land and other friends. Uh, let's just go ahead and say it's a wonderful day today. I uh, went outside, did some more yard work in my yard, and I made the place look like a better place. Uh, put some more topsoil down, all the important things to keep our gardens. I think we're getting, getting ready for victory gardens right now. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's from like, I think in between World War One and World War Two, everybody planted their own garden so that they had extra food to su supplement their great needs. It's not a bad thing to be doing with your kids. I actually grabbed my son Alex. I'm like, hey, you like playing with dirt? Yeah, Dad. So we went over there and we played with dirt. And it was very fun for us to all go out and do some extra di dirty work, as we'd call it. Uh, I also fixed up my shed yesterday. It's, it's a lot of home tasks right now. Um, so get yourself doing something outside. Get that healthy outdoor air and do something fun. Uh, I even had one of my students post a video a little while back of them doing the video outside because they might as well. They had it on the back side of the trunk of the car with the phone and he was practicing and stuff right in front. So go ahead and do that. Oh, we already got our first person saying hello. Let's see who said hello. Let's go ahead. It's my mom. That works. Good. Ready to do some karate, mom. Good. All right. So beginning. Kyotsuke. Ready. If you don't know, kyotsuke means feet together. So it's we put our feet together when we bow, we stand upright, we bend at the hips. And I have the tendency to look up when I'm doing a bow. That's because I respect the people that I'm bowing to and I consider myself equals. In the Japanese culture, the head would be down if you're the subservient, but this is America, we teach it at a equal level. So that's specifically a good idea. Um, I'm gonna take a baby step back and let's start our stretching. So. Arm circles, make sure you're getting your blood circulation and all the body parts. This should be done pretty easy and pretty fun. Uh, you start making them bigger and bigger so that they have a nice and easy relaxed rotation. Then reverse them, start back again really tiny, get those micro muscles working. We're going to be doing uh, lots of crazy cool stuff today. so. Some advanced katas, I hope. Some things that you haven't seen before. Uh, we don't have young Joey here today. He's doing something with his family, so he'll probably be back tomorrow with his crew. Uh, hopefully we have the whole Alex, Luke, uh, Joey, Robert, myself, all working out together tomorrow, potentially. Um, I'm also planning on doing a kinder food class tomorrow at 5.30 to 6 o'clock. It's hopefully we get people into the Zoom meeting so they can actually start working out and I can see and adjust and correct and improve and all the other positive things that go along with like two-sided classes. Side to side, nice and easy. I think something I did yesterday threw up my, my lower back a little bit. So I, if you see me make a, a cringy face when I do something, it's probably because I didn't realize I was going to hurt and then it did. But stretching's a good way of working around the soft spot of your body, whatever got hurt. Hip circles. Now you can feel it right there a little bit. So it's kind of the lean over muscles. Reverse. Could be from stretching something I hadn't stretched in a while. We did a whole lot of stretching yesterday. That was important. It was a good idea. And we'll be doing it more. Lots and lots of stretching. Good. Knee circles. I like to say knee circles are one of my favorites because I saw Hansi Bowles, a 73-year-old 10th degree black belt doing these. So that made me think that if he could do them at 73, I should probably start doing them now so I could keep doing all the stuff that I want to be doing. I think he's been doing martial arts for 55 plus years. So he's pretty good. He is the head of a whole organization. And he's uh, pretty confident in his motions. Everything looks clean and crisp. And I learned a tonfacata with him, which hopefully I'll remember at some point. And it was very cool working with somebody of that caliber. Just treat me like a human. Good. Up and down with your neck. Put your elbows on top of your knees. Relaxing your neck. Speed is not your friend. Side to side. No sirs. 
I'm rotating my neck to look each direction. You could also go ear to shoulder. Sometimes you could do both. Now, I don't know, sir. Head around in a circle. The reason why we have our body bent over in this position is so that we protect our neck from strain. Other direction. Good. Now one hand forward, one knee back, and a push. Let's see if I get that, that kink in my back stretch out a little bit bonus. Push, push, push. Now straighten your legs. Then bend them. Straighten your legs. It's kind of weird because it's straighten your legs, bend your knees. Bend your legs doesn't sound right. And straighten your knees doesn't sound right. But it's still accurate. Good. Shita. I'm down. Go ahead. Find a leg. And give it a nice and simple stretch. Clear and present in the moment. If you do this all four days of the week that I'm doing it, you should gain improvement. It's not about a mile of improvement, it's that little inch by inch, it's a cinch. You're trying to go all the way one day, it's a trial. You're gonna probably injure yourself. Take your time, let yourself relax. Good flexibility is gained over time, not over short time, long term. To the middle, I consider myself flexible. I've always been more flexible than average. I also think of that as I did more than most people. What's that? If you did more math than most people, you'd probably be better at math than most people. If you do more flexibility training, you're probably more flexible. There was a point in my life that I was looking to become a state police officer, and I saw people having a hard time reaching down and touching their toes. And I was like, that's it? You just, you just touch your toes. And I kind of made a big joke about it and a big deal. And I'm like, yeah, I bet I could go way far past it. And the, the proctor of the test at the time was like, hey man, this is no big deal. And I was like, here, and I pushed all the way past my toes and really, really far. And I was all proud of myself and I thought I was really cool. And then a guy next to me failed the test and he couldn't join the police order because he couldn't reach far enough. So I kind of had to eat my own, I think they call it eat, eat crow. So you have to eat that bad meat where you're, hey, don't get that, don't get that mean spirit about you. Keep it so that it's, hey, it's you for yourself. Flexibility is good. Not everybody has it. You got to work at where you are. My hope and my thought process would be that I hope for that person that they went back and they practiced their flexibility, they worked on it, and they went back and they achieved what they were trying to achieve. I didn't end up becoming a police officer either. That's okay. I, at that point, I decided instead of being a police officer, I'd be a karate teacher. Literally a pivot point in my life that I feel like I'm in the right position now. And that I could do more good from what I know. <sighs> Nothing good, bad, or evil about it. It just seems to be the position I'm in. So leg up on top of other leg. Bend your knee, bring it on close. You're trying to stretch the under part as you pull in. I like doing it this way because as you go from here and you bend your knee, it kind of levers your leg up. But you could go whatever you want and however you need to make sure you take it easy. And then go a little bit more. Then bend. This is my nicer leg, has an easier time doing it. Bend, 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 and back down. Around, it's that push-up time. Ready, steady, and move my belt over. Let's go, I think 30 sounds good. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, chichi, hachi, kyu, Ju, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku, Shichi, Hachi, Kyu, Ju, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku, 
Chichi Hachi Q Chu Not easy today. Moving on. Sit up. Ichi Ni San Shi Go Roku Shichi Hachi Q Chu Juichi Juni Jusan Jushi Jugo Juroku Jushichi Juhachi Jukyu Niju Nijuichi Niju Ni Niju San Niju Shi Niju Go Niju Roku Niju Shichi Niju Hachi Niju Q Sanju Keep that cheese Ichi Ni San Shi Go Roku Shichi Hachi Q Chu Ichi Ni San Shi Go Roku Shichi Hachi Q Chu Ichi Ni San Shi Go Roku Shichi Hachi Q Chu Let's get some leg stretches Ichi Ni San Shi Go Roku Shichi Hachi Q Ju Other way Ichi Ni San Shi Go Roku Shichi Hachi Q Ju And two and three four five six seven eight nine ten um, twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Whew, warmed up. Let's have a check who else is saying hi to us. What do we got? Aha! Let us in for Zoom. I would love to let you in for Zoom. Huh. I don't see them. I would like you in for Zoom. How to get you guys in? We just had that. Sorry, world. I'm trying to get people into Zoom because it's the way to go. Huh. Uh -huh. Let's get. Yeah, I'm already in. Boop, 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 boo. Boo. Boop. Gotta be like, hey, I'm trying. Gotta see me. You'll see me doing what I'm trying to do. Boop. Move that. My account. Get into meetings today reoccurring join I'm already there open to a meeting anyways still there weird 
this button, nothing. Huh. Tap your invitation, go over to Facebook land. Let's go ahead and paste the Zoom meeting again. Kapow, kapow. Try that. Let's see if that works. I don't know why it didn't work because the Zoom meeting's on. That's why we got to keep practicing with the Zoom thing because it's useful if it works. Not very useful if it doesn't work. Good. Hello, Mr. Quinn. All right. Ooh, good. Good. Good, good, good. Still alive, still active, still kicking butt. Try it again. I just sent the link back on Facebook land. Maybe it was debunked, funky, and words. Words. Hi, Mike. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, presenter. Yeah. Should pop up. You should be able to go bloop. Come on in. Until then, let's get back to our basics. Get ourselves breathing. <coughs> That didn't work. I'll do the stomach. In through your nose. Blowing out candles. Good. Shake it out. Let's get rocking. So. Until they figure out how to jump in or I figure out how to be a better host on that Zoom meeting, we'll keep moving on the karate world so you do whatever they can, whatever they got. Let's go. Ah, it's Tuesday. I like doing the advanced stuff on Tuesday. So advanced being that it's conceptually harder. It doesn't mean it's physically harder, but the idea being like if I'm doing self-defense and I got, I'll move this guy, he's a little faster. So if I've got an opponent, I have to imagine that they're trying to do me bad harm. And I have to get in the habits of a successful fighter. So a successful fighter would not want to start a spike here unless I was already aggressive and I hit him first. You want to get yourself further away. You want to get yourself an arm's length and a half. You'd like to, if you were further away from that, he'd have momentum, he'll charge in on you. If you're closer than that, the hand is quicker than the eye, they could attack you. There's that little sweet spot that I, I like to think us black belts train at, which is just a little bit further than their reach. They can still throw a kick, but your body moves to get a kick. Your body also moves for a punch, but if I wanted to punch him fast, I have to dedicate my body. So same thing that that person would have to do, they'd have to dedicate their body, start punching. And I'd have to react to it. Uh, your view or your gaze should be centered at the center mass of the body. So from here, in the middle area, you can see both arms, you can see the head, you can still see the hips. You might not be able to see the feet. That's okay, because the foot doesn't, cannot kick you until he picks it up enough. Could they step on your foot? To do that, they still have to dedicate the rest of the center of the body. So the idea is pretty simple. We have to think through it is that this is a chance it's not the best situation the best situation is being at home eating popcorn and being safe at your at your favorite chair but you're in a situation where they're within your six feet of comfort zone and they're getting too close you put your hands up and you're like hey what's going on i don't have any trouble I, i'm a nice normal person i have nothing wrong nothing's going on great day today you see the sun you know you wait for them to make the first move and then Inside, you're waiting. You're like, oh, he's gonna punch me. Might kick me. As soon as he moves, I'm gonna blast one way or the other. I'm gonna, I'm gonna off center. I'm gonna, Wah! I'm gonna move out to the side. Boom! I move sideways. I might move backwards if I'm trying to trap him. I move forward. The best move in all karate, this is my favorite, is to move. Which means the worst move in all karate is to stand still. Then you can hit still. So if I'm standing here, Ow! The guy attacks you. You lose. You lose twice because you look dumb and then you got hit dumb because you weren't moving. Now, if you moved 
and they were attacking you where you are, right on you, bad on them. Ah, you found us. Good, good, good. You found us, come on in. So, they attack, you move. Shoosh. You go for something. You don't, doesn't matter what you do, something. You do something. Hi, Dean Sharia. Aha, you are the best zoomers around. Hopefully it was a new one that got you through, whatever you needed to do. So, we now are going over movement. So, if they're standing still, you wait for them to make the first move. I agree. If they don't move, then you don't have to. They're not a bad guy yet. They take a step and they start punching. Ah! You take your hand, you scoop it to the side, you slap it away, you misdirect, you don't get hit. If you get hit, get hit less. So if they're hitting you here and you push yourself, they're now hitting you in the arm, which helps punch them faster. They're punching themselves by hitting you in the arm. They go, boom, and they hit themselves. Crazy. Bad idea on their part. Uh-oh. Yeah, those guys are never happy with their camera work. They gotta always point at the ceiling and at the feet. All right, so, easiest starting point is to push the direction you're not going. So, when you push the direction you're not going, their punch still gets there, you're not there anymore. I love the round block, it's my favorite. You go here, bam, because then you have a second option. This little shoot hand, bam, makes their arm hurt, so it goes, Bam! You go slap it, chop it. Now, with a slap, you're no longer getting hit. With a chop, bam! You're giving a free shot to them because they try to hit you. Now, if that stops the fight, great. If it doesn't, you're in a better position now. Now you're on the outside of the body. Their energy's over here, and you grab them. So if you go, bam! You grab on, and you're just ready to go. Boom! Throw that punch. So, go ahead. Side step push. Wave, grab, punch. Don't worry about three, four, five yet. So push, wave, grab, punch. Now efficiency would say that I just go here, and you just burst all the way through. Now reality would say you got to start with the first part and add to it. The other part is when you're grabbing them, you don't let them go until you want to. The key is they started it, you finish it. When is the fight over? When you say it is. When does the fight start? They decided that. You're the one that ends it though. Now if they give up after you punch them once in the arm, they really didn't want to fight anyways, great, you've won. They've also won because they didn't have to get destroyed. So sidestep, chop, boom. So you gotta drag them in, bam, as you pound them out. Now from here, I've turned my body weight, I've extended my backhand so this Rear hand is doing a cross over. Now from here, I can finally let him go. Bam! I'm gonna throw the cocoa. So the cocoa is going right on up angle, boom, hitting him directly in the neck, possibly knocking him out, possibly not. Then after that, bam! Tate to the belly, or tate to the ribs, depending on where they're standing. So round block, bam! Punch face, punch neck, punch body. Back up, I'll go a little slower this time. So, round, block. See, I'm getting into Kibidachi. That's so that my next punch hurts. So after the round block, shh, shh, boom. My twist and punch, bam. Twist, untwist and punch, bam. Retwist and punch. So my stompy feet look like I'm bending knees both directions. Long run is you hope you don't bend them that long, you go right through it. So you go, ah, shh, and it kind of, Bounces back and forth. That's fine. Ah! Now you've gotten both sides. So let's go this way again. So punch. Keep this hand open. Punch, punch. Ready. Now the nice part about ready stance is that you get yourself ready for the next thing. I'm gonna maximize this so I can see everything a little bit better. Let's go. Boop. Aha, I see you even better now. So, round block, bam, boom, boom, boom. Number two. So, these are done in order because it's better than not out of order. So you're gonna punch you here again. You push down, direct, direct. If I'm going right foot back, that one's on top. 
This is very side dominant defense. So if I go here, right's on top, right's in the eye, kick them right in the groin, elbow with the right elbow. Step back, hands up. So again, step back, push down. So you're directing it. They might be going for the face. They might go into the stomach, the chest, wherever they get. You draw it down, you extend their arm out. So now they're overextended. Boom, you go hand right on up. Bam, kick underneath. And the last move is the hardest because you're stepping with this foot and you're elbowing with this hand, which if you're uncoordinated, looks like you're going hit. But if you're really coordinated, it's actually step then lift and you get your body momentum. So you go here, kick, you pull and push. This chambers, this pushes up, bam, tear off their head. Pez dispenser. Hands up, down, up, low, up. Notice how my hand is positioned so it's almost like I'm brushing my hair, which I don't know how to do, but I hear it's like this. This hand would have had them held, so it's not letting them go. It's driving them close. So even if you're a shorter person versus a taller person, if you grab them, you eye gouge them by push pull, bam. They lean in as you pull back. And when you kick them, they bend over, their head drops down, and you give a raise up with the elbow to get them again. So again, down up, low up. I know, that's it. Yeah, smash them right with the elbow. You guys are reversing each other. Good, now the other side. So you're gonna go down, up, down, up. Back here. Mm hmm. One and two and. I like I like Diaz. Sure, you're getting too close to the camera. You're gonna be busting your own chops. Good. Let me double check with these guys. See if they're still alive. Good. They are. Tom Holly, give me an extra thumbs up if you're actually kicking butt with us, because I'm really excited for the idea that you've come in and you've watched a bunch of my videos. Hopefully, you're you're getting like your white belt in the mail soon or something. Let me know. Okay. So next up, number three. So number three is a little bit of uh, what I call really hard because you have to go like that. There's an X block, that part's easy. It's right-handed, so you X block up. Your right hand's on the inside, left hand's on the outside, right kick. Super, super simple on the first move. Bam! Same as number two where you kick. So you go X, bam! Then from here you step back and you draw back. I think about this as a sword cut. So if you're sword cutting this side, which I wouldn't do because I'm righty, Maybe I would. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I'm doing this big overhand cut. It just happens to be their arm that I'm putting in my pocket. So if I went X, around, kick, smash. Good, good, yeah, smash them in the back of the head. Good, hands up. So one, re-grab, two, see how my right hand's forward, my left hand's at my hip, right kick, back fist the back of their head. So they'd be over like this. You'd give them a knockout blow after you already kicked them in the face. That'll work. Hands up, let's go lefty. So left side. Super simple. Doesn't mean it's easy. Good, so again. Good. Don't forget, I got a crazy face on purpose. <clears throat> you practice your crazy face so it's easy when you need it. Good. Number four. Similar block to number one, except for now they're punching and you're going to the inside of their body. So, inside, outside. This guy's got three legs, so it's a little misleading. But you go to the outside or the inside. It's as easy as I can say it. So, you round block to the inside now. Grab that little C grab. You know, get your hi -ya -ya -ya. grab out of their arm. And you go, wham. I'm oh, sorry, wham. Eyes. I still kept them. I'd probably be more here, but I wanted to exaggerate that. And I turn back. I stuff a little bit of a, a snake, a little, a little leopard paw right into their jaw, right underneath it actually, right in that place where I don't have a beard yet. And then the second hand comes back, turn, smash. Yeah, now don't reach and then hit. Go turn and then reach a little bit. So 
a little misleading on the rotational energy. So it's actually, your body wants to stay here and it just lifts out as you're in the middle of the twist. Bam! And that gives a big old clap to their eardrum, pops their ear, they no longer can play the bass guitar, it's no good. So you go round the block, and then eyes, throat, ear. Yeah, yeah, you guys got the big power ears. Now we're gonna go this way, round block, so push, chop, crabby, eyes, throat, ear. Good, good, good. Again, round block, eyes, throat, ear. Good. All right, number next, I think five's after four, typically speaking. Now, five has got a, a big body weight movement. So I'm gonna go from body weight equal to body weight over on one leg. So when I go from one leg, I'm actually redirecting my body weight so I can kick them with this leg even better. Now, if they're punching, I still wanna deal with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook block it. There's that little hook on your arm. You're gonna go whoosh, and they're gonna be punching. Wah! So now their fist actually gets a little bit of a caught sensation here. So I go off center, reconnect, bam! Flick a kick to the groin. So here, whoosh, and then uh, as I'm falling, I let this hand keep theirs. And I smash them in the ear, turn back to the jaw or to the orbital ridge of their eye. You can pick, depends on their standing. And then, Rikizuki. Good, that one's probably the hardest part of that one. So if you're going here, their arm is still floating around here somewhere. You're gonna be grabbing with this one as you're going to turn your body into it. So it's a forearm to the back of their elbow. So you're gonna go dancing this way, whoosh, bam. Shote, Oyubi, break. Good, hands up, this way now. So again, we're dancing over on this foot, kicking with the half one. So here, whoosh. And then Chote, Oyube, Frank. We'll do it again, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's going this way. You go whoosh, 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 whoosh. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, Dia, you gotta do it. Or Sharia, you gotta do it too. You're just standing there looking at me pretty. Good. So, Unamas, you're going to sidestep, kick, smash, crunch, break. Yeah, there it is. I was looking for the breaky part. Good. Number six. That makes sense. So, we're going to go this way again. This is another one to the inside. Six and four used to be almost the exact same thing with one thing different. Then, Sensei Dan, he's like, hey, let's do two things different. So, we're going to sidestep, push, wave. Now, instead of doing an eye gouge like we used to do in the classics, you're going to go turn, smash the ear, uppercut to the throat, just like we did in number four, and then bam to the groin for number six. So you go round block, and go ear, throat, groin. So you can almost just leave your hands in this weird shape, but you're going to catch them with that first part, get that little, and you go smash as I'm pulling them in. It's easier to hit a person in the head when they're close to you. So smash, Hanurikin, Kamaruchi, back up. Now going this way, round block, sh -sh -sh, grabby. And you go, smash, Hanurikin, Kamaruchi, or Shote. Bam, right on up, they jump out of their skin. They're not having a good day anymore. That's okay, it's their fault. Okay, number seven. They do. So number seven, we used to call it the pizza man. It still is, it's just a little different pizza. So they're coming to punch here, you bam! You slide the big old door open, you preheat the oven on their nose, so bam! Then you scoop, I don't know what you're scooping in the pizza example. Scooping, and you're shote and we're in the face, so you're going here, scoop plus shote, so bam! And I kick the door shut. So, in reality, it's, you're gonna go, Bad guy, you guy, forearm block. Now you're standing on the side, back fist. Hopefully you do your forearm block back fist while they're still coming forward so that the back fist hurts them more. Bam. You scoop their hand out of the way, feed them a slice of pizza, kick that door shut. Ba-ba! 
Sorry, Jerry, you've been doing good so far. So you go, farm block, back fist, nagashi, seriuto, making Gary. Making Gary cry, as I say. Now I'm gonna do the other side. So, farm block, back fist, scoop. As you're feeding a slice of pizza, bam, kick the door shut. So, give me some pizza, preheat the oven. Move the stuff out of the way, slide the pizza into their mouth, slam the door on their head. Woo! Good. Now, number eight. That was, that was eight and a half, if you know our old judging style. So, eight. There you go. There's my math trick for the tray. So, number eight. The hardest advanced one. And by advanced, I mean you go in forward. You're going to go, hey, crunch! So you pick a side, we're going right side first, so right leg steps forward, both hands grab, basically you just grab it onto their trapezius muscles or whatever those things are called. You grab on, rear knee, new rear elbow. Ah, I like your rear elbow. So you go rear knee, right elbow, little baby tate. Step back hands up. So. If I'm going lefty now, I'm gonna take the step forward. Rear knee, step in, rear elbow. It's the new rear elbow, because now my right foot forward. Turn back, Tate. Step back with your hands up. Always get in the habit of stepping back with your hands up. Or standing up with your hands up. Just your hands up, hands up, hands up. Because what if it didn't work? What if it didn't work enough? What if that person is crazy beyond belief and they have superpowers and they're having to fight you and they're the bad guy in the situation, so you have to beat them up again? Great, that's why we give you more than eight. So we go here again. Grab, knee, elbow, tate. Hands up. Number next, one advanced. Now, I asked one of my senseis before, why do they have advanced one sensei? And then it said, because they wanted to do a couple more. That's it, good enough reason. So, number one advanced is weird because you're jamming with the forearm block as your eye gouging with the other hand. So you're going here, bam. So eye gougy hand, high blocky hand. Then, if that wasn't enough, you pull back, do a double eye gouge. That was enough, pull back, double shote here and here. So right underneath the right underneath the pectoral muscle, rib cage, bam! You're giving a big old like shock to the system. And when we do it, it's an uchi, so it's a bam. you hit, bam, and you pull back with it. So it's not a thrust, it's a snap. And I like to pull my body weight back as I'm snapping. So it's a little bit off balance when you're not thinking about it. But you're gonna go here, block plus eye gouge. You notice you could have a high block here, you could have a high block here. This is the important part. This is you just not getting hit. So you go, bam, huh, ah, Psh. hands off. So, Jodanuki Nishkinzuki, because it's a, it's a finger gouge, so bam. Marote Nishiken, and then Marote Shote, so, hands up at the end, because why not? You get rid of Sharia that easy, idea? That's weird. Good, other side. So if we're going left and right, now I'm going left and right the other side. So they're now taking your left foot forward, right hand blocking, with an eye gouge. Now double eye gouge, so pull it back out, put it back in, Pull it back out, sotes, <clears throat> there, here, then kick, hands up. Again, high block plus eye gouge, so, boom! Double eye gouge, double collapse along, kick to the groin, have some fun. Well, not them, but you. You forgot to do the smashy. Don't forget the smashy, Sharia, or Dia, all the above. Good. Yeah, so really, you're just like wiggling your arms around. You gotta get into the moment. You go here, bam, bam, ta-ta, kabam. Good, good. Number two advanced. I told you this is the advanced class. We're going all the way up. So now you're gonna do mixed leg. So left foot forward, right hand up. It's still considered righty. So left leg, right arm, also known as the opposite side. So here. Grab and swing. So you're almost Zoro. You're doing a big old bow with this arm. And that makes them start to be off balance. And then what you do is you bring it all the way back up. You go one and crunch. 
There's like four moves going on there, which is really cool because it's all up, all the damage. So you mix, mix your leg in your hand, high block. Swing, and on the unswing, you're going to pull in, reposition yourself, and crunch. So you're elbowing them, you're breaking their arm at the same time. Yeah, that's pretty close, pretty close. Good, one more time. Let's try the other side. So if I'm going here, I'm going here. Swing, upside down swing, crunch. Good, step back hands up. Oh, we stepped back like three different ways there, Sharia. Good, hands up. So, next up, number three advance. This one's an easy one, actually, by comparison. Step forward with the right foot, block with your right hand. So you go here. So it's a forearm block, Meuda Uki, Rikinzuki. So, Meuda Uki, Rikinzuki. Now, Seikinzuki to the groin. Yep, the second hand. Muashizuki to the head. So you actually turn your hand upside down, punch it with the two knuckles right upside their head, and then tap it to the stomach, and kick. Good, hands up. So again, you're gonna do a forearm block, back fist. So you go forearm block, back fist, Seiken, Mwashi, Tate. May Gary, hands up. Again, other side. Now you're gonna go forearm block, back fist, Seiken low, Mwashi high, Tate middle, kick from the front leg. Just step back. Hands up. One more time, lefty, or whatever else we call it. So, forearm block, back fist, low punch, high punch, middle punch, kicky. Good. Hands up. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four comes up next. Four is the first sweep. I love four. This has got a sweep in it. So, as opposed to before, we're stepping sideways on our round blocks. Now we're stepping forward and a diagonal. So you go forward, diagonal, round block, which puts you in a different position. Now you grab the back of their hand, maybe up into their arm now because you're angled, kick to the body. So again, you go round block, round kick. Cool. That's easy enough. Shoot as you're falling. Very neat. Similar like number five, as you fall with that shote, you're doing a fall with the shuto. So you're going round block, round kick, stepping shuto, sweep, bam, bam. Wherever they are, you get them in a little extra. So you go round block, round kick, choo, falling shuto, sweeping tate, bam, or seiken. Wherever they are, you hit them. I like it. There you go, Sharia. Good, now we're going to go this way. So round block. Round kick, shh. Same hand shuto, that's the hard part. If you go same hand shuto, sweepy, seiken, seiken, all the way down. Cool. Give a thumbs up there, Sharia. Good, all right, good. Mwashi Yuki, Mwashi Gary, shuto Zuki, sweepy, seiken, seiken. Hands up. Cool, uh, number five. I told you this is advanced. I want to go higher. I want to see the hard ones. Left foot, right foot. Left hand, right hand. So one, two, this right hand. <laughs> I, I tricked you. This one doesn't do anything. You go left shooto, right shooto. These are shooto blocks. They're punching you face face. You go, nope, nope. Ah! Yeah. Pop, pop. Bam. So one, two, and three. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Three, ha -da! pull in, bam, thrusting elbow to the solar plexus, and then twist, shote with the rear hand. Yeah, step back, hands up, hachi dachi, good. Now you're gonna go to this side, so shoot a one, shoot a two, double shoot a, ka -cha! good, pull back. I'm kind of doing a supported elbow, so I'm going here, boom. So body weight plus a little extra, and then I open up. I open up this leg. Bam! I show to him in the face. Step back, hands up. Pretty mean if you think about it. So now we're gonna do whatever leg you like better. Shuto, shuto, double shuto. 
Elbow thrust. Hands up. Oh, oh, I did it fast. Sorry there, Sharia. You should try it anyways. Go. One, two, double, elbow thrust. Good. Let me double check something really quick. What, Benny? Ha! Huh. Coach Benny. Cool. All right. Good. Number six. Number six. Hmm. Uh, ah, show taste city. Good. So, number six, you step forward, bam, block. So, they punch into the face, you hate your face getting punched, you go, four, or you do, palm heel block, bam. Shote Nishikin. Shote Nishikin, same hand. The goal is you hit them as they're hitting you, so you go, Hus! So, before this foot lands, I've already got their eye gouged. Then, I'm on the kind of straight inside, I go, Shote, 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 Shote. Kick, bam. Well, I know, it's pretty cool. You go, bam, 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 bam. A lot of times people get excited for this one and they do too many. So you go, hand, face. Jaw, jaw, rib, rib, groin. Super simple, super simple. So now the other leg. Shote, Nishikin. Suryuto, 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 Suryuto. Making Gary, hands up. Making Gary cry right in the good days. Good. So I go, bam, 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 bam. That's what happens. I go, ah! Sorry, I went too fast. Oh, well. They didn't get to have a good day. Number seven. They call this one no kick seven. I wonder why. What do you think? Hmm, maybe there's no kick. So it's going to be a forearm block. Bam. Then it's going to be a soda uki or a reverse forearm block as you feed them a reverse punch. Bam! Then you're going to go elbow, boom! Then you're going to go tate, and step back hands up. Then you go forearm, reverse forearm, elbow, tate, hands up. You're like, shouldn't I kick him? No. I don't know why. I didn't make it up. Here you go other side, forearm block. Reverse forearm block plus punch. Then you go elbow, tate, step back, hands up. <laughs> That's why they call it no kick seven, because you're like, I want to kick, sensei. No kicks. No kicks on number seven for some reason. Good. Just like the pizza man. The pizza man, on, oh, the pizza man does have a kick. So I guess it's only seven advance that matters. One more time. Forearm, reverse, elbow, tate, oh, tate. Good kick. Ah, oh, no kick! Sensor, you kick! Don't tell anybody you kick there. Go. Forearm block. Reverse forearm block. Elbow. Saken. Or Tate, whatever you got. Hands up. All right, we're getting into the old territory where I have like, oh, I haven't done this one in a week. So, number eight, advanced. You're gonna high block, punch to the groin. So, punch to the groin at the same time as high block is more effective because you have a better chance of landing. So, you go, hey, it's not gonna go boom! That's a nice day. Boom! You punch high block punch. Then you go, boom! You rise that. It's a Aji Rican, so you're putting this part here. As my sensei was said, hopefully their tongue's sticking out. So you go, wham! Then you take this one around, flip it into their face. So it's three with your right hand right off the bat. So groin, chin, nose. There we go. Tr groin, chin, nose, hook punch. Ha ha! You didn't think I had a hook punch with this. I left it there, and I still hook punch with it. It's just to kind of crack their jaw so they're no longer balancy. You go one, two, three, four. Now from here, you grab onto them and you sweep them down, saking, saking. That's why you do the hook punches. You go here, and then you just grab them and take them with you. So again, let's go ahead. You step forward with the same hand, same hand as the same leg. So you go, bam. Although you want to block your face, so you go here, bam. Rise to the occasion. Boom. Bam, bam. Cool. Other side. Might as well. So now we're going to do step forward with this foot, punch with this hand, block with this one. Doesn't matter which side you are, just do the other one. Rise up, back fist, hook punch, sweepy, saking, saking. Hands up. Cool. All right, good, good. We only got like 
six more minutes, so we got number nine and ten to do. Cool. Number ten, everybody likes because it's super easy and kind of weird. Number nine, most people like because it's got the Beach Boys thing. You go round, 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 round. I get around. You get down, down. I get to stomp you. Well, that's kind of a weird song. So they're punching. They keep doing that. They should learn from their mistakes. So you go side step, round block, gravity, round kick, tsh, round punch. Round punch. You guys thought it was number four for a second, didn't you? you? Go left round, right round. Sweep them down. Mm. Notice I kept their arm? I might as well. Mm. I'm going to crunch it. I'm going to take my heel and my foot right in between them, between their shoulder blade here, and I go, just okay. Okay. So, again, sidestep, round block, round kick, round punch. See how I added their hand here? Round punch. Oh my goodness, why am I doing bat wings here? So I just grab on. So I'm literally just keeping them up tall. Bam! I hook their foot out. They fall down. I do my bad jujitsu from standing up position. I guess just get it done. Let's go the other way now. So round block. Round kick. Round punch. Round punch. Sweep and stomp. Ah, Again, this way. Round block. Round kick. Round punch. Round punch part two. Sweepy you. Stompy you. Okay, kick face. Yeah, break leg. Arms. Oh, everything you got. Number 10. The easiest hard one. I say that because you can't see me very easily. So if I go sideways, well, I'll do it forward facing first. So it was a cross step and a haishu uki which is the first time you see a haishu uki in karate class it's a backhand block so i'm blocking with the backhand as this foot is hooking around so my foot they're punching i go whoa i watch a lot of kung fu moves i know what i'm doing and they go smash so it's one and two so right hand right hand right hand turn to, to behind them left hand let me see if I can get it on Jerry to make it a little easier to see. Jerry, you keep doing weird things. And now you're going to pay for it. So, the guy has his body here. I go, hook block, smash base. I step whoosh, with my tattooey and I twist, bam, pseudo, right in the middle of the spine. So I work myself to the back side of him. See that delayed reaction? He can't move anymore. So you go... Cross step, hook block, or cross step, high shoe, smash, really nice, go, oh, bam! Step forward, bam, tattooey, twist, and you shoot, oh, bam! Yeah, twist and shoot at the same time. So now I'm going to do the other arm. So you're going to go here, cross step, hook, also known as a high shoe. Then I'm going to go forward, tattooey. So I'm hitting right here, tattooey, then I turn, bam! And I'll actually let this foot slide a little bit if I need to get behind him a little bit more. I'll let myself kind of cheat by using my energy of my hand to like body weight transfer my leg. Good. You ready? So if I'm facing you again, so you go Haishuki, Shotezuki, Tatuizuki, Shuto. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. You actually have to be behind him. So again, cross step the other side. Cross step. Shote, long step, tatui, and then turn, shuto. Yeah, the second hand finally gets to do something. All that other time, the first hand does all the work. Sorry, Jerry, you did. You did a good job participating in the class today, Jerry. You stay over here where you belong. Good. All right, circulars. One through eight plus advanced self-defense, one through 10. That seems like a pretty good homework assignment, right? So now you have a little bit of a study guide to go whoop, get it all, do it all. All right, um, hope you guys had a good time. I'm a little sweaty, Whoosh. lots of sweaty if you ask me. And we're completed for today. Uh, tomorrow, I plan on having a little kids class at 5.30 to six o'clock. So little kids is usually under seven. And then we're gonna do everybody else seven to, or six to seven. So 5.30 to 6 o'clock, Kinder Foo, 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock, Action Kids. 
That means if you want to hang out and you want to do some extra easy stuff, go for it. Ooh, that's like a big script somebody just wrote me. I don't know what that script says. Good, good, good. All right, I'll read that script in a moment because my mom should forgive me for not saying it right away. Good. So, one more time. Kyotsuke. And... What kind of score are we? Black ball score! And ready. You guys are dismissed. Go in peace. Be peaceful. Because it's your choice. Since you're powerful.